Prares comes forward. Patrick Carberry and was set. Bit of movement. Now, persistence time. Oh, this horse has got up Luke's gold. But settles back down again. No harm done by the looks of it. Jockey uh, is getting back aboard, so we're OK. Set. Racing. Persistence time was a wage just moderately today, and Woodsville began nicely. Cruishan has raced up to second. Kalu Bazaar is handy, and Capo Doro is ridden up on the outside of Shade White. Jack Poprin's reasonably close. Only three lengths away from the leader on the inside from Luke's Gold. Persistence time is back second last, and Friar Esk on the inside. So Woodsville takes it up at the 1800 metre mark. It's Woodsville leading by one and a half. In second place is Cruishan. Capo Duro is out three wide on the track, pressing forward. Jackpot Prince is fourth over on the inside. And then the Grey Couleur Bazaar. Luke's Gold on the inside. Persistence time. He usually makes a run at this stage of the race. Is starting to press forward now. Luke's Gold dropped back to second last. And two and a half away last of all is Friar Esk. And it would be about 10 off the leader. Turning into the back straight. 1,300 metres left to go. And now Capo Duro has run to the lead. Capo Duro by one. Woodsville running second. Third persistence time. Running fourth, Jackpot Prince given every chance. And then Kira Kruishan, who's running fifth from Kalur Bazaar, who just want to get the head up. Might have got onto heels there. Luke's gold on the inside and Friar Esk is last. A thousand to go. Capo Duro's got the lead. Leads a half length. Persistence time has continued the move. Out three wide. Woodsville back in the centre. One and three quarters to Kruishan. Jackpot Prince has had a glorious run on the inside and then Kalur Bazaar with 750 to go from Luke's gold and last of all on the outside is Friar Esk running down at the 650 Capo Duro leads a half Woodsville persistence time has done it very tough Jackpot Prince is sliding through on the inside of Kruishan and then came Kalur Bazaar Friar Esk is about to get to the outside from Luke's gold coming around the home turn Capo Duro has pinched a break at the 450 led by a length and a half Woodsville now Jackpot Prince is winding up strongly Gets to the outside. Luke's goal got an inside run. Friar S is still back last. Capo Duro's in front. 300 to go from Woodsville. Jackpot Prince is trying very hard on the outside, but Capo Duro is going strongly at the 150. Woodsville running second. Down the outside, Friar S. Jackpot Prince, Luke's goal battles on, but Capo Duro does it easily. Capo Duro by length and three quarters to Woodsville. One and a half to Jackpot Prince third and three quarters to Friar S. And Luke's goal, Kalur Bazaar persistence time and Cruishan was back last of all. Very heavily backed Capo Duro into 5, 10 and 180 Daniel State. Great tip from the yard there from uh, Scotty and uh, Capo Duro dashed away on the corner and uh, has uh, run the race out very powerfully indeed in uh, conditions that are suiting horses that race just in the capaci capacity there of Capo Duro. Fred Kersley and Daniel Stake. There was no luck for Fred in the previous with the Sandalwood, who ran a terrific race but got a long way back. Capo Duro, in contrast, right up on speed, kicked away from them and has done the job well. Woodsville battled on hard, so they raced one, two, those two horses, and Jackpot Prince, who worked into third place on the turn and looked to be winding up, but then was just grinding home up the straight. 6-1 and 2. 6-1, 2. Number 4 has run 4th, Friar S. 2-14-49 the time. 36-0-6. The uh, final 600 metres, 36-0-6. 5 10, 180. It was about $7 into 480, I think, the uh, closing price for uh, Capo Duro. So some very big money on this horse today. And it's the second plunge in five minutes because uh, in Sydney... Don't give a damn, was very heavily commissioned just before race number four at Ascot, and it won easily, and Capo Duro has as well. So some bookmakers around Australia are reeling a little bit after those two races. And we'll go downstairs to Wes Cameron shortly. The winner for Oakland Park, and of course Neville Duncan, Jay Oxley, B. Thomason, and also D.V. McInerney, a brown gelding, a five-year-old, Medagli Adoro, out of uh, a Kinjatay mare. There's one for Wes Cameron. He, he loved Kinjatay and uh, he's downstairs. Wes, he's about to have a chat with uh, Fred. Thank you, Rich. Uh, Fred, uh, I 
tell you what, that changes the day. It had been pretty indifferent uh, leading up to Capo de Oro. It has improved somewhat. <laughs> Ms Leckie, a few issues there? Oh, yes, she's, uh, she's very difficult. The worst thing is she's a very talented mayor, and, uh, or filly, actually, and um, it's disappointing when she's behaving like she is. Sandalwood looked a good thing beaten? Yeah, no luck at all, and uh, tactically got it wrong. Capo Doro, who's uh, just such an honest galloper over a distance, and I thought it was a lovely ride by Dan today. Yeah, I look early on, I thought, I wonder, you know, he's doing a bit, whether it's too much or not, working up the hill, but um, he got there and travelled very well in the run, and um, he was very strong in the end, so it was a pretty good result. I reckon those punters at back Capo, probably halfway up the straight, were a little bit worried. He's got a habit of finishing second, but he looked to be full of running at that stage. Yeah, he turned up in pretty good order. I think he's matured a little bit uh, as he gets older, which is, you know, with the breed, you know, his family, and a bit like that. And um, looks like he's following that trade, and today he's probably the best he's gone. Yeah, brilliant win. Later on in the day, Vexaloid, uh, she's going around in the next race. Uh, what have you made of her two runs back? Uh, second one disappointing, first one OK. Um, big question marks about it today. I um, hope she goes well, but I'm not confident. And North Ridge in the scenic blast, uh, is he capable of surprising? Uh, probably not. Is, is he regular? I mean, he's... Look, he's a very consistent horse, but he just falls short of that top level. So he'd be ridden soft and then hoping to get as close as he can. But yeah, don't, don't get me wrong, he's a pretty handy horse. Congratulations on the victory with Capo Doro. Thank you, Wes. Well done. Fred Kersley and uh, Capo proving uh, far too good and uh, bolting in by a length and a half and always in control by Dan Stoke. We'll catch up with Dan in just a moment, Rich. Yes, and the dividends are through there. Uh, it's uh, $5.10. And a dollar eighty about the winner, five ten and uh, one dollar eighty. Second horse at three dollars ten, Woodsville and Jackpot Prince at uh, one dollar and forty cents. The Quinella thirty four forty, exact at sixty four dollars ninety. Trifecta two hundred and thirteen eighty in the first four, six one two and four has paid uh, eight hundred and forty five dollars and eighty cents. And just before we talk to Dan, we'll have that quaddy dividend for you as well, and it's about to come through on the first four races, and it has paid $4,275. As uh, we're about to go downstairs, here's Wes having a chat with uh, Dan. Yeah, race to, race to race wins, Rich, with uh, Dan Stake scoring on uh, rare coin. Well done, Diamond Dan. Uh, gee, that was a heady ride. Yeah, well, I was, um, I was a little bit confident. It showed, uh, as Fred mentioned, rode him up the hill, got him to the front, uh, I suppose having ridden rare coin, knowing that's not a bad place to be at the moment. Yeah, well, I sort of rode the horse, you know, on what I knew, and I knew that he trained really well this week. He, he felt great. Um, he was down in weight, and I don't think he can really run much quicker than 36 last three, so I wanted to be moving. How were you feeling on the corner? Yeah, I was quite confident he was full of running. Yeah, you could see that even halfway up the straight. He's a good stayer in the making. Yeah, he is. Um, he's... He's just very well at the moment and he's feeling great. Good day in the saddle. Well done. Thank you. Diamond Dan and uh, Capo Doro for the Fred Kersley stable taking out the Magic Millions handicap. Thanks, Dan. And a double there. Rare coin into uh, Capo Doro. The Quinella, you've had the exacter. The first four there, $845 on race number four. We're just about to get correct weight through and stand by for a race replay as well. Hello. Thanks, uh, Ian. Correct weight. Correct weight is there on uh, 6, 1, 2 and 4. Correct weight. One and a half, one and a quarter bar half. 2, 14, 49. The last 635, 86. Stand by for a race replay. Race number four as we get into the first leg of the quaddy. Race number five, the main quaddy today. And uh, it is the uh, James Boag premium handicap comes up at 325.